Good morning, everyone, and welcome back. It's the first day of the holiday event. Normally, I just click on the screen and load it up, but I wanted to take a moment and appreciate this lovely little main menu we've got going on for the holidays. A lot of cute stuff there. I see we got a little Pikachu igloo, it looks like, a Pokeball snowball, and some presents under the tree for us. But let's go ahead and jump into it. We do have the holiday event going on, so you need to make sure that you go to Greengrass Isle today. If you haven't switched islands yet, make sure that you pick green grass when we get there or when you get there. We're going to go ahead and get our sleep points going. That's another 100. So we've got 18,847 total. And we should have a pretty interesting sleep report today. I was able to get to master 11 before I went to bed last night. Got very lucky with an extra tasty that gave me about 52,000 strength which put me into master 11 which was good because i forgot lunch so got very lucky on dinner rolling an extra tasty well let's go ahead and jump into the sleep report session 142 about eight hours and 34 minutes of sleep exactly what we should get went to bed a little earlier than usual but that's because i had to get up earlier than usual today a lot of a lot of up and down last night but that does look like a balanced sleep type Yep, another balanced. I think that's two days in a row now. But that's good. That does give us a chance. Maybe that pincer will show back up. But we also should have some new interesting stuff as well. Maybe at least 60 million would be nice. Oh, didn't think we were going to cross 60 for a second. But we did get 61.29 million. Not bad at all. But we should have some pretty interesting stuff today. Oh, there's a top belly Pikachu. I don't think I've gotten that one yet. Nope. I do see some stuff that we have already. Hopefully we got some more new stuff. Only five that we've had before. We got Cyndaquil, Arbok, Swablu, Diglett, and Togetic. But those are interesting. I should leave three that we don't have yet. Oh, Victory Bell. That's an interesting one. Vine Held Sleep. It is kind of funny, it just balancing on that one vine. Even while asleep, it appears that Victory Bell opens its mouth wide to attract prey with the nectar-like acid within it. On very rare occasions, it seems to forget about luring in prey and instead sleeps face down. So that's interesting if i was if i was smart i probably would have used a luck incense last night but i don't know if it oh even even better yeah i don't know if that luck incense would have counted since it's technically yesterday's research but it still would have been really good and i believe that's also my first kangaskhan too sure is Kangaskhan protects its child by keeping it in its pouch even while sleeping. If the child wakes before its mother and leaves the pouch to play, you'd best not approach it or you may end up in trouble with its mother. Good to know. Stay away from Kangaskhan babies. Alright, and we know the last one. Is this a top belly Pikachu? On that giant Snorlax. And that may be the last one that I need for Pikachu. Last one. We are clearing out a lot of these sleep styles where we're getting the four out of four. Got a hungry Swablu, which is good. We need a better one. That's even better, though. Even better. That is a long way to go to take home a Kangaskhan. Um... I wonder how we do this. I think we just feed it the bonus and let's see what happens. So just the mega hit. I don't want to feed this as much as possible today just because it's going to be a while. Probably if we're lucky, 
the end of this week before we ever see it again. I'm really hoping that we can get the critical capture and it's all full after two. That's something I wish they would change. If the Pokemon's hungry, it should at least take three biscuits. The, you shouldn't be all full on a hungry Pokemon after just two. But unfortunately, it is what it is. Uh, we will... I think with the way this event is going to go, I think we're just going to hold off and save the Poke Biscuits we have left and see what we find down the road. I don't even think I'm going to feed this Swablu. Or am I? Mm, yeah, I am going to feed the Swablu. We do need one. We need a better one. Ah, uh, yeah, I think we go ahead and we try to take this home. It's going to be all full, though. Yep, see, there you go. You just got to say it and then jinx it in the way you want it to go. Because I said it would be full, it wasn't full. So at least we're taking something home today. We do need a better Swablu. The one we have, I think, is actually not even that great. But we're going to go ahead and stop there. Only two Poke Biscuits left. I was hoping to have more for the event, but it is what it is. Um... I don't know how good Kangaskhan is, but I feel like we see Bellsprout a lot. So let's go ahead and send out this Kangaskhan candy because that's far more rare. And we did get 2,798 research XP, so quite a lot. And 5,165 dream shards, also quite a lot. And we definitely needed it. Let's go ahead and switch on over. And see how good this Swablu is. Hopefully it will be better than what we've had before. Level 11 with a hardy nature. I feel like hardy is pretty decent. But y'all know how my memory is with these natures. I can barely remember them. Let's see. We got skill trigger S. Which is not bad. Not bad considering it's main skill. Inventory up L. Mm, that's okay. Berry Finding S is very good. It is quite far in, though. Ingredient Finder S, not so great. And Skill Level Up S is all right. Hardy is a neutral nature, so it's not great. But this is a Berry Specialist. And unfortunately, it's not good until level 50. But once it gets to level 50, it's quite good. So maybe this is one we hold on to for now and I don't know that's a lot of resources to put into it to get it to level 50 before it becomes good it's a lot of mediocrity until then so I don't know I think we hold on to it for now and then hopefully find something better in the long run but we'll just have to kind of see how it goes and hopefully we get something better that we have not been having good luck with these Swablu but moving on, it is that time to, before I forget, while I'm thinking about it now, let's go ahead and collect our daily gift. 10 Poke Biscuits would be nice. I'll take one. One's better than nothing. And then the holiday event. The event on Greengrass Isle, this is just a recap of everything we went over earlier last week. Uh, event limited function is a candy boost. Uh, main skill Dream Shard Magnet is twice as effective during the event. Uh, in addition, Snorlax during the event on Greengrass Isle will have Ross Berries, which is good. We can put our Sfeel, or not Sfeel anymore, our Celio on the team to get that helping bonus and bring in some Ross Berries. Uh, through limited time missions, you can get 60 Pikachu candies. Uh, if you research on the final day of the event, which is Sunday, you get 1,225 bonus sleep points. And we'll have a higher likelihood of meeting Pokemon such as Delibird, Snover, and Obama Snow, as well as Pikachu wearing a red hat. So there's definitely a lot to look forward to in this event, especially the Delibird and the 
Abom uh, Snover. I'm curious how those are going to work out in the long run for the game. So we can figure out if they're going to be barrier ingredient specialists. And ooh, Green Grass Isle is now up to 45%. But we should have a pretty good, pretty good uh, week this time around. Hopefully we get a better recipe. But let's just see. Let's get through the weekly summary, which I always forget is a thing. Uh, we did. That's not our best, but it's close. Uh, Master 11, 612,916 final strength with 406,000 from berries and 206,000 from cooking. Got an overall grade of B because my sleep point was all, or my sleep midpoint was all over the place. Yeah, all over the place. Got decent sleep in terms of hours, but sleep midpoint all over the place. Makes sense with what I had going on at the beginning of the week. Out enjoying uh, the beach in the middle of winter. But we do have an event happening now. Who would have thought? I like the way they decorate green grass for these events too. the Halloween and the now the holiday event. It's pretty nice. Changes things up a little bit. We do want to go to green grass. New area sound data will be downloaded. That's interesting. Download complete. Favorite berries. Ooh, interesting. And we got salads. So we got the Rost, the Pam Tree, and what is that? Cherry berries, I think. Not too bad. Uh, Doug Trio just hit level 26. 20 diamonds is very nice, too. Um... Now, unfortunately, we're not going to have a whole lot to start off with in terms of ingredients, just because of the way the game functions rolling over into a new week. I was hoping to get a skill trigger on one of these ingredient gatherers, but it doesn't seem to have happened. All right, let's check out what the missions are for this event. What do we have? Uh, Snorlax to basic two, that should be pretty easy. Ultra one, master one, give out 15 biscuits, 100 candies, seven incense, uh, stick to bedtime three times, and cook 12 times. So cook 12 times is the one I really want to make sure we do. Get those five extra Poke Biscuits. Uh, the incense, that we'll get that no problem. Not really worried about that one. So some interesting stuff on the event missions, but all pretty easy. And before we go into cooking, I actually want to get the the team we're going to use this week. I want to get them set up so that we can make sure that we have a really good week. And first things first, let's go ahead and sort by favorite berries. Oh, we could. Interesting. I may have to swap in the Dodrio tonight before I go to bed just to let it restore its energy because putting it on the team now wouldn't make any sense. But we for sure want Celio on the team. Um, all right, so let's get Celio put on the team. Select. I thought I hit select, did I not? And then, then we can worry about salads. So the best salad that we can make, actually, if we could get, I don't know how much I like this idea of going for the ninja salad. It is four different kinds of ingredients, but it is a very good salad. But we don't have, we don't have any Pokemon that can double up on most of these ingredients. Let's see, we need leeks and quite a decent amount of them to make that happen. And these are the only Pokemon I have that bring in leeks and Doug Trio is the closest to what I... They're closest to unlocking the leeks. 
Um, but unfortunately, hmm, it's bringing in tomatoes, which are not great. Because you need leeks, soybeans, mushrooms, and ginger. Hmm. We could try for the spore mushroom salad. That is actually not a bad idea. Considering we for sure have mushrooms and tomatoes and oil. Because our celio is already going to bring in some oil. Not a lot, but some. So, man, we're just really having a hard time with some of these recipes trying to find Pokemon that bring in both or two separate ingredients that are beneficial. Don't have Slowpoke Tails yet, but actually what I do have, something we can look at, I did find while I was on my little vacation, I found this guy who's double tails and 88% ingredient gathering inventory up skill level up but does have ingredient finding nature and energizing cheer sub skill or main skill I mean so maybe this is the time let's see let's turn on the candy boost and let's see what it would take to get him to level 30 I don't even have enough dream shards to get it to level 30. Or do I? Is it saying that I do? Did they change it? I thought it used to say. All right, let's cancel. Let's see if I just read that wrong. OK, so yeah, I need another 35,000 just to get this thing to level 30. If I could get it to level 30, that would be extremely beneficial. However, what I do have is a very particular set of skills. What I do have is a bunch of dream clusters that I have been saving. No new news, which we kind of figured. And nope, nope, this page. I have been holding on to a lot of these dream clusters. But maybe now is the time to use them. Let's see, it says 1,124. Let's use one. Okay, so it's already doubled on here. Because I think they said that these double up too. But now may be the time to use those. Slowpoke tails, fiery herbs, and pure oils. We can definitely get the fiery herbs from Gengar. I'm thinking that might be the place to try to make the slowpoke tail pepper salad. That might be it. The question is just how frequently will we get those slowpoke tails? But I think now's the time. I think we I think we make the big play right now. Let's make the big play. All right, so now is a good time to use a lot of these dream clusters and clear out some space. I don't think I want to use them all, but I do want to use most. Let's use 25 of them. Device is currently offline. What are you talking about? Come on, man. Get it together. I know it's early, but it's not that early. All right, let's get back into it. Let's see. Come on. Yeah, didn't use them. Let's use 25 of them. That'll leave us with a handful, but it does give us 28,100 Dream Shards, which is not quite enough. Eh, whatever. Now's the time to use them during this event. So we'll use all those. We'll hold on to the Dream Cluster M's for now. And we're going to make some big plays today. So let's edit the team. Uh, we don't need... We don't need tomatoes, so let's go ahead and get this Gengar back on the team because we want the fiery herbs. Doesn't have mushrooms unlocked, so it should stick with just the herbs. And then let's swap out Blastoise and get, where you at? Get the Slowbro on the team. And we're gonna put in a lot of work on this Slowbro. 
So all we want to do is get it to level 30. Which means we need to use a lot. And that leaves us with 2,925 dream shards. Hopefully we will make a lot of this back during this event. Items will be used. It leaves me with 80 candies, which is enough to get a slow king from one, from my other slow poke, which is actually kind of decent. Uh, all that leveling only dropped his frequency about two minutes. So going to be very interesting how this works out, but this is the plan. We're making big plays today. May not be the best, may not be the best idea, but we're going to try it. And then that leaves us, oh, we have two slots that we can kind of put whatever we want. Let's see. Oh, I didn't mean to hit back. Let's search. Let's see if we can get a, where are you at? Dream shard magnet on the team. That's actually decent. Unfortunately, I don't have a decent dream shard magnet Pokemon. Soybeans, milk. He does bring in oil and cherry berries, though. Hmm. XP gains are up. And it's a skill specialist. Huh. Let's see. Let me try something. I want to see if I can at least get this thing to level 10. I didn't even know you had to sleep with this for 150 hours. So let's uh, let's candy boost. Just get to level 10. And we don't even have enough dream shards for that. What if we don't candy boost? Yeah, if we don't candy boost, we still have plenty of candies. And we don't need to use nearly as many dream shards. Um just don't know if I want this on the team. I don't think I do because none of my Dream Shard Magnet Pokemon are actually that great. And it would be nice to have on the team, but we're trying to make some progress here on this Snorlax. And unfortunately, it's just not looking good. Um, For now... Yeah, it's just not looking great for all this other stuff. Let's see if we can at least just get another pure oil Pokemon on the team. Um, honestly, Ditto wouldn't be the worst call. Ditto is getting... Once we get the Ditto to level 30, that'll be leaks as well. Hmm. Here, I thought we were going to have an easy, easy choice this week. You know what? I don't think it really matters. I think we just go with the favorite berries. Oh, need to take that oil off. You know what? Let's just put this this little uh, Riolu on the team. Or take him off the team by accident. <laughs> Whoops. Let's put him on the team. Let's get him to level 10. We'll just see how it does for today. We'll see how much that Dream Shard Magnet triggers. And if it's not working out, then I can just easily swap it out for the Dodrio at the end of the day. And you... Definitely want to have a favorite berry gatherer on the team. Actually, yeah, let's go ahead and put Dodrio on the team. I can use an energy pillow. I forgot all about those. So it won't be perfect, but it'll be pretty good. <laughs> How fitting that it's at 84% energy and 84% uh, that wise. Plus, it does give me another helping bonus on the team, which is really good. So... I think this is actually a pretty solid team for now. We'll see how the Riolu does. If it doesn't trigger too often, I'll just swap them out for something else. 
But this is actually a pretty solid team. And one thing I know I'm going to have to do just because of what I'm about to do is I'm going to use a good camp ticket just to try to really maximize on this event, which means that my pot is now significantly larger. And I think it's time to use one of those uh, ingredient ticket M's. We could also use a helper whistle. I may do both. Yeah, let's use an ingredient ticket M. We're going big this week, so why not? There's 10 pure oil, which is what we need for the slowpoke tail or the salad. And let's do a helper whistle. Probably should have done the helper whistle first, because if we get tails out of it, then we could have got tails from the ingredient ticket. But hindsight's 2020. We did get tails out of it, of course. You know what? I was going to check these missions, but I'm just going to wait. We got tails, which means we got 20 more diamonds. And we only have two ingredients left to unlock, which is leeks and potatoes. And we're not far from either. And let's go ahead and check our community reports while we're here. See what you guys have been up to while I'm just faffing about 40 reports. But you get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 that doubled up. That's really good. A little over 25% on the doubling. I'll take that. There's one level up. Two. Three more ingredient tickets, which I definitely want now that we have those slowpoke tails unlocked. I'm just going to go ahead and use one of those right now. We do have enough. Let's see. We have enough herbs we only have one tail which is unfortunate we need 10 to make the slowpoke tail pepper salad so that may have to wait until tomorrow but just to give us uh the best chances of making something decent i don't know why i backed out of that i always forget that the item bag is right here you know what let's just go ahead and use the ingredient ticket in the last one there we go that's what we need 10 slowpoke tails. All right, well, we're making big moves today. Big moves. Basic two, already done. 35 dream shards. Woo! We're making back what we spent. And now let's get this breakfast going. Hopefully we have enough of the pure oil. I didn't even think to look at that, but oh no, we don't. We're short. We're short three pure oils. That's all we need. All we need is three pure oils. So we're going to use all of those tickets until we get them. Bag is full. Well, I know what time it is then. Basic three. Another 45 dream shards. Come on, come on. We need to go to the shop. We need to go to the general store. And we need to expand our ingredient pocket. Okay, so that puts us at 140. We had 133. Honestly, it probably would be best to just go ahead and get one more. So now we should have a bag space of 160. Yeah, 160 means we can use all but one of these tickets. Cow and eggs. Apples and milk. Come on, I just need oil. Ginger and apples. Come on. Let's uh let's just sell four of these, honey. Come on, give me oil, give me oil. 
no dice and i got the honey right back that is unfortunate so yeah unfortunately we won't be able to make the slowpoke tail pepper salad today but we should be able to make it tomorrow so let's see what we can make I'm surprised that we can't make the spore mushroom salad. Oh, yeah. No, I have unlocked it. I just need a ton of mushrooms that I don't have. Um, What else? I think the... Man, we really just don't have a good mix of ingredients to really make much of anything. So what's the best thing we can make? Water veil? Uh, water veil is pretty low on the list snoozy tomato also low on the list heat wave also low on the list everything we can make is very low on the list let's see there's no sausage so we can't make that um we don't have leeks yet man we just really yeah I'm getting very, very unlucky with all of these ingredients, but heat wave is the best thing we can make. So, yep, we're gonna make the heat wave for today. And then tomorrow we will make something far better. And let's throw in all these trash ingredients that we don't want. 65 is our total hot space right now. Uh, we want to keep the oils. Let's throw in the ginger. Maybe we can at least get lucky and get an extra tasty. That would kind of help take the sting out of not being able to make what I wanted. No extra tasty, but it was 11,411, which is really good. This should be... Oh yeah, just one level up. So it's not bad, but not as good as it could have been. So 11,411 should put us up to, I think it's just basic five. I don't think it's great one yet. Yep, basic five. So we're already basic five. We haven't even got into lunch yet. We haven't even really got into the berry gathering yet, which is very nice. So that's where we're at. Watch. I was about to say, watch this thing. Give me the three oils I needed. But it couldn't even if it wanted to. So last things last, let's go ahead and collect on our missions that we completed. We got the Pikachu incense and we've got 5,000 dream shards. So definitely starting to make back what we uh, what we spent on that slow bro and hopefully that slow bro pays off um, at the very least having the slowpoke tails unlocked for the ingredient tickets to give us is very good so we did that if nothing else but that said that's where we're at that's kind of the plan for this week and we will see how it goes but that's all i've got for today i appreciate you coming by and watching the video make sure to hit the like button if you liked it subscribe if you want to see more and until next time later dudes